know, I was like, we are, I'm working in an e-commerce company. So that time I was processing orders. Like we are getting orders from Mintra, Amazon, like Flipkart, Ajio. So I was processing orders that time. So uh, it's a very good industry, I would say. So I, I'm learning skills, new skills, and uh, I'm, you know, evolving myself as well so that I can uh, grow in my career. And we cannot say like, I'm a very good at it. I'm very proficient in this language. So I'm still learning. Yeah. Yes. And I'm working on my communication skills as well, like soft skills. Teamwork, communication skills, and you know, leadership skills, time management. Do you know about culinary art? Culinary art? No, ma'am. Can you elaborate it? I am uploading same same content again and again, so I think people will get bored. They will want to watch again and again, like same kind of videos. But uh, if you are doing experiment with your uh, content, so they can, uh, you know, they will be more likely to watch your content. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, tell me. As we are meeting for the first time, first and foremost, I welcome you on my channel and then I want to say good afternoon. How are you doing? Tell me about yourself. Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon and uh, I'm doing well. I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking. And if we talk about myself, my name is Nawal Azmira and I am speaking to you from Jaipur city, which is in Rajasthan state. And if I talk about my profession, currently I am working in a company as an e-commerce executive. And uh, it has been more than three years I have been working in this sector. And apart from this, uh, these days, I am working on my communication skills as well. Yeah, that's all about me now. Yeah. Oh, so okay. as, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 please, please, please go ahead. You are saying something. Yeah. And I'm very excited to, you know, I was very excited to talk to you because and thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. And uh, so as we are new to each other, so I would also like to know about yourself. Sure, sure. I would love to introduce myself in front of you. As you know that my name is Manju Mishra and uh, I am a retired teacher sitting in front of you. OK, so if you talk about my educational qualification, I completed my master's, then NTT and B.A. And since 1990, I had been teaching and now I'm freelancing because I'm a retired teacher, but still I'm a teacher. I'm teaching. I take online, offline classes. I have a small family of four, my husband, my two children and me. I'm talking to you from Lucknow, the capital city of Uttar Pradesh. That's all about me. Great. So how was your day today, ma'am? Because I couldn't, uh, you know, talk to you that time because I was busy that time. Yeah, yes, it happens because uh, uh, every time I'm not free because I told you that I take online classes and yes, I'm a full time homemaker because uh, now yeah. I'm retired. So and that is okay. another job. So every time I'm also not free. But yeah, four o'clock, as you said, then then uh, when your video got then. stuck. My video got stuck. Yeah, now it's fine. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe sometimes, uh, although I have uh, Wi-Fi, but I don't know. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm so also day, using it was all hectic, you can say, but still, it's manageable okay. because uh, the Shara got over. Diwali is approaching. So. <laughs> <laughs> so did you celebrate Durga Puja? Yes, I did. I okay. did. Yes. So uh, like. We like uh, we do uh, celebrate Dashera, but uh, like I don't know how to how in like Kolkata. Like you are from Uttar Pradesh, but I don't know like about like Durga Puja. So can you tell me about like little bit Durga Puja? See, Durga Puja is a celebration of nearly ten days. It starts from the very first day of Puja, okay, and that is called Mahalaya. And from then, people used to keep for nine days fast as well, okay. Yeah. Some just eat fruits and uh, liquid some take even uh, salt also but most of them keep first day and last day fasting so this is the basic thing and then for all nine days we worship goddess durga uh, yes, yes, yes yes and uh, uh, more or less in every locality there are pendals made for a statue of durga kept there and in large scale we have celebration as well as puja mm -hmm. and 10th yes. day that is the shahra vijayadashmi that day mm -hmm. actually we immerse the statue of uh, goddess durga and ganga okay. or gomti whatever river we have close by in the city so this is how it is being celebrated it's a kind of get together we uh, celebrate together actually my family has also come here with me 
So yes, we are en we enjoyed a lot and looking forward to celebrating Deepavali too. <laughs> yes, yes. It's around the, I would say like around the corner. Yes, it's uh, just 20 days after the Shara it comes. Yeah, so it's yes. around the corner. Tell me about how uh, the Shara is being celebrated in uh, Jaipur. Yeah, same, same here. Like you told me yeah. about your city. Yeah, more or less, here. more or less the same way we celebrate in most of the states. But yes, Kolkata mm -hmm. has a grand celebration. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. They, yeah, you know, in Kolkata, you know, there are a lot of pandals, you know, we can see a lot of pandals and a lot of, you know, yeah. epic celebration. In a grand way, actually, they celebrate they way, yeah. their yes. prasad and they distribute it. And many cultural programs from all over the world, you can say the artists are being invited and whole day and night, you can say that programs and dances yes. and many activities, even many competitions take place. So mm. this is how it's a kind of 10 days enjoyment with spirituality. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. OK. So you are from Jaipur. How about your family? How many members are there in your family? You didn't tell me. We are mem uh, we are family of uh, seven members. Uh, my, if I talk about like my siblings, I have four siblings and apart from my parents. Okay, so they all are living in Jaipur. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I thought maybe because of job purpose, you are there in Jaipur and uh, your family yes. is somewhere else. All right. Okay. Yeah, like uh, when you messaged me that time, you know, I was like, we are, I am working in an e commerce company. So that time I was processing orders, like we are getting orders from Mintra, Amazon, like Flipkart, Ajio. So I was processing orders that time. So that time I could not talk to you that okay, time. Tell me, it's interesting actually. Tell me about your job profile. Okay, nice. <laughs> so you are working for uh, Amazon, you said, Mintra and what else? Yes. Flipkart also? Ag Flipkart, Ajio. Okay. Okay. Oh. So what all things do you do in this? What is your uh, specific field? Okay. So uh, we are dealing in home furnishing category. So we sell home furnishing items uh, such as bed sheets, cushion cover, blankets, curtains. So we are selling our products on these marketplaces, um, Amazon, Mintra, Flipkart. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what I do is if I talk about my roles and responsibilities, so I am responsible for, you know, processing orders, uh, listing products on these marketplaces. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I have to manage inventory as well. Uh, and uh, I have to manage, you know, returns. If I uh, if we get any wrong return in back, so mm -hmm. I have to raise a ticket for that. Like we have go, you know, we have got a wrong product in this packet, and uh, we did not send, uh, you know, wrong product to the customer. So I have mm -hmm. to raise tickets for that, and mm -hmm. uh, I have to, you know, uh, sometimes I have to run ads. Yeah. Okay. Are you finding it? Interesting. Yes, okay, because, you know, good uh, for joining somewhere else. Yeah, it's a good job. I would say, like, you know, e commerce industry is evolving uh, very rapidly. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, like, I would say, like, in, fu in uh, like future, in upcoming year, days, it will boost more. So, uh, it's a very good in industry, I would say. So, I, I'm learning skills, new skills, and uh, I'm, you know, evolving myself as well so that I can uh, grow in my career so that I can get a you know, good post. Mm -hmm. What's your working hours? Mm, 10 to 6, ma'am. 10 to 6. So how are you able to join at this time? <laughs> yeah, so I, yes, yes. I'm managing anyhow, like, I have to do this conversation. <laughs> okay. Why you have to do this conversation? What is the role of this conversation in your <laughs> business, your job profile? Because I want to improve my communication skills as like I want to become fluent in, in this language. So whenever I, you know, whenever I, whenever I get uh, opportunity to talk to someone, so that time I feel confident about myself. So I, I want to be feel confident in every situation. Like whenever we talk to someone who are very, you know, proficient, so we get, you know, nervous that time. So I don't want to be nervous at all. I want to be not nervous at yeah. all. <laughs> you yes, are yes. quite confident. Yeah, well, yeah, I want to be, you know, confident. 
Yes, that's true. So when did you start your uh, learning journey? Your, I think, you are in uh, job for the past three years, you said. When did you feel that you should learn uh, speaking English or you should have extra communication skills? Okay, so I started my journey a year ago, I would say. Uh, so when I joined my first company, like it, my when I joined my first company, so that time I did not know English at all. But uh, later I realized that, you know, if you really want to grow in your career, so mm -hmm. English is very, you know, uh, crucial language. Yeah, it, it can, it yeah. So that's, uh, that's why I started working on it and uh, still I'm learning it because I'm not very proficient in this language because uh, everyone cannot be proficient, but I, I think uh, this is a lifelong process because every day new phrases, new words are adding uh, in English. So we cannot say like, I'm a very good at it. I'm very proficient in this language. So I'm still learning. Yeah. Yes. And I'm working on my communication skills as well, like soft skills, teamwork, communication skills, and you know, leadership skill, time management. Good, good to know. Are you married or single? No, I am a single ma'am. I, I, yeah. Okay, if I ask you to describe yourself in three words, how would you describe yourself? What three qualities or merits or demerits you have? Okay, so I'm a very uh, simple guy. I don't do a lot of, you know, shopping. And so I don't spend a lot of money, I would say. Good, valid <laughs> point actually. Everybody should save money because earning money is very difficult. It's not that yes, easy. Yes. 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 So hard and, uh, money should be saved properly mm -hmm. or should be uh, used wisely. Okay. Second thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I I would like to earn. You know, uh, like I want to. I I don't know how to say. Like uh, I want to generate a source of passive income. So that's why I I started investing in uh, in you know, fund like share market. Like I'm not doing a trading. I'm not doing, doing trading. Uh, I want to, you know, become long. You invest term, your like, own long, money in share long term, long term period. Like, mm -hmm. but I'm not just like I'm not just investing my money in, like you know in a uh, cheap companies. I'm investing in good companies, good good quality companies. Mm -hmm. So money manager you are, yes, you are managing with money, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, yes. It's yes. good actually because this is the time when you can save money lifelong Absolutely. you have to earn but as you will grow up you will move towards your own family you will have your own wife yeah. your children then you will have more of expenses and then yes, it becomes yes. very difficult to save so this is the time where you can yeah. wisely use your money and you can spend in a sip and share yeah. market and many more places yes, absolutely yeah we can invest in like property as well and we can invest in like gold as well because gold is gold prices are increasing. Yeah. True. Do you know about culinary art? Culinary art. No, ma'am. Can you elaborate it? Simple art of cooking. Art of cooking. Okay. Art of cooking. <laughs> art of cooking. So why it. it is? I I want to ask you this because you are a boy, and in India this is a culture that girls are being taught to cook. Yeah, you have to get married. You have to go to your in-laws place. So you must know cooking. OK, mm -hmm. so why culinary art is important for boys? This is my question for you because you are a boy. Is it important or not? Or if it is important, then why it is important? Yes, yes. So according to me, I think it is important. Like, you know, sometimes uh, you face such kind of, you know, situations where you have to live alone without your family. So, you know, you should have like good skills. Like, no, I would say not like you should be very proficient in, in like in, in this uh, yeah. cooking. Yeah, but you should have like basic understanding, like how can we make chapati? How can we make, you know, sabji and vegetables? At least basic food, isn't it? Yeah, basic so food. So that we so can we, survive. We can survive. Yes, because, yes. Because uh, we all know that in India or even in abroad, most yeah. of the chef are men isn't it yes, yes but still 
but still in uh, common families this is the tradition that girls are being taught to cook boys are being taught to look after the out outdoor activity isn't it <laughs> to go for shopping and bring vegetables do this do that but girls are always taught to do something inside the house yeah but oh, i yeah. i too feel that culinary arts is very important for everybody irrespective of gender everyone yes, should yes. know it everyone should know it yes because in foreign countries there is no culture of maid there is no culture of cook to be kept everybody mm-hmm. does his or her work himself or herself okay Absolutely. so it's good to know you it. know so i would say they are very you know very uh, i would say they 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 do they know like how to manage their you know time schedule routine they you know they manage their routine they follow a routine that is, true. Keep, that is true yeah yes okay are you a youtuber yeah i i have also started my youtube channel like recently i have started my youtube channel recently means how many days back did you start i have channel? uploaded i i have uploaded only eight videos okay 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 <laughs> then why did you feel to start a channel what was the motivation behind it because you know i thought like you know if i would if i wouldn't start my youtube channel like so i will i wouldn't get you know lot of opportunity to talk to people so i should start my youtube channel and uh, uh, the motive behind it like not uh, like earning money uh, but i want to improve my myself i want to improve my communication skills you know yeah i want to become you know more uh, proficient uh, in this language more yeah. Yes. Actually, earning money from YouTube is very difficult. <laughs> it's not that easy. It seems very easy, but it's yes, not yes. easy for everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. But yes, yes, it it gives a kind of opportunity to connect with different kind of people from our own country, from other countries, Absolutely. to know yes. about them, to know about their culture, their interest. Yes. Yes. So you shared about your work profile. So I got yes, to know yes. that. what all things because easily we get everything delivered at home so we don't yeah. know how much efforts it takes isn't it yeah because yeah. it's not easy to blink it we just message and within 10 minutes the things are at your door but so <laughs> many people are working behind this strategy isn't it absolutely it is, things have become very easy but mm-hmm. yeah but uh, many are working behind it yes because you know if you are putting or you know uploading same same content again and again so i think people will get bored <laughs> uh, will be bored and uh, they will not watch again and again like same kind of videos but uh, if you are doing experiment with your uh, content so they can uh, you know they will be more likely to watch your content mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. okay tell me about how did you stumble upon my videos because you have uploaded just eight videos as you said then do you watch conversation videos or how did you come to know about my channel or about me yes so through youtube i got to know about you so oh. i was watching videos so that time you you were i think you you, you were doing a conversation with uh, someone or you were having conversation with someone so that time i got to know about your channel and you so i i quickly messaged you and i thought let's have a conversation with ma'am okay thank you thank you so much if you really become proficient in this language then will you have more of opportunities in your office or in your absolutely career? Ma'am. if i yeah if i you know if i will become like if i if i become more more proficient in this language so i will have you know more opportunities like i can uh, go in like you know uh, performance marketing like in ads we mm-hmm. i can you know in like digital marketing i would say where i will have to yeah where i will have to you know add runs to clients where i can add runs to clients for commission basis like i can take commission uh, on their sales and i can take commissions and i can you know generate passive income for myself so you know i want to do a digital marketing uh, like i want to go to in this field because uh, i am in e commerce field so it is kind of related to you know uh, like digital marketing so mm-hmm. these days you know this field is growing very fast so there are many opportunities uh, i can grab those opportunities mm-hmm. if i know how to run ads properly how to run google ads 
how to run social media ads how to run instagram facebook ads youtube ads so i can more i can earn more money than i am earning right now okay do you have any questions for me navan yeah so i want to ask you that uh, like i want you to give me feedback <laughs> you are what to give you feedback you are speaking nicely okay and you want to become a better speaker that is another level actually there is no limit of learning any language if we are hindi speakers we can't say that we are proficient in hindi also we need to work on every language so you are speaking well you are expressing yourself well you are not making mistakes so it's all Thank good so yeah i saw and good. one thing ma'am if you don't mind uh, i would like to ask you one thing can i post this video on my channel see i do uh, two conversations if i connect with youtubers like one for my channel and one for the other channel i don't find any worth in uploading the same contents on two channels it's just an experiment <clears throat> okay, for me also because i became youtuber by chance it was not in my cards to start my youtube channel i was okay. not aware of any technicality but yeah after a moment i started getting bored and i was thinking something i should start but i was not staying at one place because my children are grown up and they are working my daughter is married yeah. as well yeah so, you do uh, yeah i have i have seen your videos like uh, one of your videos uh, in in one of your videos you were saying like uh, your children are like in abroad like abroad they are living in abroad yeah so sometimes i go to my son's place sometimes i go to my daughter's place so i don't just stay at one place then i could not start my coaching center or something which i can do at one place so i was moving here and there after retirement so this was the only thing which my son suggested that if you want to teach and only you can teach because you have been a teacher for past 32 years so you can just start teaching and yes, he created this channel and i started teaching so that's how by chance i became a youtuber you can say okay, okay. it was but then you can also you can also teach offline like students you can also open offline coaching offline yeah i had offline classes after retirement i started but what happens once i start teaching after 5 months or 6 months when i have to move from here when i go to uh, okay. my son's place then 3 uh, to 4 months i stay there then mm -hmm. that's a loss for my students and i yes, don't yes. want to do that but now online classes are going on well but initially it was not in my cards to even how to upload video how to create thumbnail it, it was all very tricky for me absolutely yeah so now you do yourself like now you do everything Every, yourself yes everything i do myself okay i am not able to do uh, no nicely but yes it's manageable somehow yeah, i'm able to edit and then simple thumbnail i am able to make and i upload mm -hmm. one video okay. every day i was uploading for 6 months more than 6 months i uploaded one video every day then uh, gradually mm -hmm. i was so caught up with my online classes that i started you know, uploading alternate days then sometimes mm -hmm. now it happens that two days gap also but yes i want to yeah. be consistent and i want to upload videos every day because i feel that my viewers must be waiting for my video every day i upload at 5 pm okay, so i, I was always uh, thinking that i will continue uploading every day but it is not uh, getting possible for me great sir any more questions if you have any anything if you want to inquire before we wrap up the session you can go ahead or uh, you allow me to wrap up the session yes ma'am yes sure it was a lovely conversation with you nice to know about you and you are also a youtuber that is another amazing thing <laughs> thank you so much mom and thank you so much ma'am for taking time out and i'm very happy now pleasure is mine too okay thank you bye 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 ma'am